23 ABC's Digital Update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The Kern County Elections Department is still counting and verifying ballots. As of Wednesday, the department says there are roughly 80 to 100,000 that still need to be counted. 145,134 ballots were counted Tuesday night. Of those votes, 16,702 people filled out a filled out a, at a polling place and 128,432 people mailed their ballot in before the end of last Friday and had their vote processed and counted. The department says there are still around 30 to 40,000 provisional ballots that still need to be verified. They are still expecting more mail and ballots to show up. Provisional ballots are issued when either when someone either had to register to vote, change their registration, their ballot was lost or damaged and they needed a new one last minute. Another 751,000 Americans claimed first-time jobless benefits last week. That's according to the Labor Department's report released this morning. The number's down slightly from the prior week. Continued jobless claims came in at 7.3 million. Starbucks has unveiled its new cups for the holiday season. Here they are starting Friday. Customers will have their drinks served in one of these four festive cups. Starbucks first rolled out seasonal cups in 1997. They're meant to drum up excitement for the coffee chain. This year's theme is Carry the Mary. Also on Friday, you can get a free reusable version of the holiday cup. To qualify, you just have to order one of Starbucks' seasonal drinks. Big changes in the forecast. We've been talking about that for several days. Cold temperatures, stronger winds, rain and mountain snow. So a lot going on here over the next several days. We're going to take a look at the temperatures for tomorrow. You're going to notice they're starting to fall off. 68 in Bakersfield, 67 in McFarland with some stronger winds. 63 to Hatchby, still pretty warm over in eastern Kern County. Seven day forecast, those temperatures continue to fall. 56 on Saturday, 50. Four on Sunday, decent chances for showers Saturday into Sunday with some slightly stronger winds as well. A little breeze even into Monday and Tuesday before we get into some nicer weather closer to the 60s Wednesday and Thursday. Again, we do have the chance for some mountain snow, especially for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. Not expecting much in the way of accumulation, but could be enough to make the roads just a tiny bit slippery. And then we do warm up slowly towards the end of the forecast. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.